I know that's I dang hair is caress. Oh. It's called caress. See that caress. right there? Going around? Not hair. A dog has hair. Okay. It's curves. Uh-huh. That um, I don't know if it's about me, but I think it's creativity in general. You know, just doing what you want is so important. <laughs> Okay, so I got some new skincare from Good Molecules, and this is the Clear Flying and Literally no heat. All I did was put roller back in my hair. whatever this is called. I got it from Victoria's Secret <laughs> and it smells literally like sugar with a hint of vanilla, a hint of flour, but not too heavy with it because honestly I don't like super florally scents. I really like more sweet, sugary, but like rich <laughs> scents. And that's what this gives me, you know? been loving that it doesn't give me a headache um, and then I also did put on a um, almond butter if anybody cares this is my deodorant it smells good I have it in vanilla bean and charcoal all right y'all so this is the outfit the top is from Target pants are from Meshki and the shoes are from Vans of course I think everybody knows that
Hi you guys, welcome back to another monthly vlog. If you are new, hi, my name is Shani Stevens. I do beauty, fashion, and lifestyle makeup. What? I do beauty, fashion, and lifestyle content here on my channel. And I'm also a makeup artist, so if you're interested in any of that, you're in the right place. So I just got finished getting gas. I ran my errands for the day. I'm pretty sure you guys just got finished with the montage. Um, I really don't know what I filmed for the montage, but it's November 4th and it's 4.50. Um, I just love the bank. I just love getting gas and I'm on my way to Durham because it's homecoming, okay? So um, that's what we're doing today. And then tomorrow um, we'll probably be tailgating at the game, all that good stuff. So yeah, that's what's going on today this weekend let me go ahead and get home so that i can film I, I don't know why i'm trying to film but um i'm just trying to get some content filmed for the rest of the month um so that's what i'm gonna do hopefully i can squeeze in filming and get ready with me today it's five o'clock i'm trying to leave by six i don't yeah yeah um honestly i think so I feel like I need to go ahead and do my makeup here and then go there. I think that it would just be better me doing it that way. Go ahead and do my hair and makeup and already have my outfit on. Well, not have my outfit on, but anyways, I'll talk to you guys once I get back in the house. <laughs>
Nothing ever happened. I feel like I'm gonna put it in a ponytail though. I feel like the hair doesn't go with the outfit. Yeah. I'll throw it up in a clip. Bring the fan today. Because, yeah. Nisha, um, your keys? It's actually pretty too. Like, the sun's not out like that. It's just humid. You can put your drink and everything. This? Oh. If you want to pull it? Pull it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, if you want to put oh, stuff there, it'll be fine. Thank you. Thank you. It was pretty. Thanks, best friend. So do you. You don't want alcohol beverage. I don't want it. You're done? Why are you done? You're done already? I'm one drink. It's homecoming. You can't be done. It's homecoming. What is she talking about? Thank you. We can walk. Thank you so much. You too. Oh. Thank you so much. So this is homecoming. I couldn't even put music over this and make it a montage because I just need y'all to see this in slow motion because it's so beautiful to me. Homecoming is like a big family reunion and I love it. Just being, just being there is literally amazing. Anytime that I'm out with my best friends and her friends that she made on that campus and going to that school. They always welcome me with open arms. They're all cool. They're all down to earth. Y'all, it's just a it's just an amazing place. And just look at this. Like everybody is good vibes. And if you come in there with bad vibes or trying to do stuff, you gonna be up out of there. Like it, we don't play that. <laughs> and let's not forget about y'all, my subscribers. Anytime that I'm on this campus and there's like a big event, I always meet some of y'all on this campus. And some of y'all think I go here or some of y'all did think that I went here, but no, I didn't go here. Just, yeah. I freaking love meeting y'all on this campus. I do be a little shy. It do catch me off guard because... I really be forgetting that I be on the internet. And if you come up to me and say like, where do I know you from? I'm never gonna say YouTube. Ne it's never, I'm never gonna say that. Um, but it'd be a thought in my head. I just don't ever like say it. But anyways, if y'all have met me on this campus, thank you so much for coming up to me and saying hi. Um, y'all are really, y'all really be lit on this campus. It, it be, it be a time. It's, I can't even explain it. You just have to experience it for yourself. Um, I couldn't even put music over these clips because it's just so beautiful. So, yeah. Homecoming 2022 was literally a movie. Y'all, I low-key think I'm still, like, hungover from last You not going? <laughs> you don't want to go? No, I don't. I'm sleeping. Where'd I go? I go. Why can't one thing just be enough? Why we gotta just keep doing shit? I'm going to the steak bell pepper empire. This is a little extra piece. Oh my god. Honestly, I need to be asleep because I have to get up 
um, and get on the road early in the morning tomorrow to be back in town. I'm supposed to be shooting some content, having a content day with um, Anastasia for Instagram. So I need to get my outfits together. Before that even happens, I need to go pick up my car from Alex's place. Please don't ask me why I keep messing with these glasses. But yeah, I need to go get my car from Alex's spot. Um, my outfit, I wore this like last month when I went out with um, my high school friends. But I didn't get a picture in it. So you already know I had to put it back on. So yeah, let me get in the shower and go to sleep. Homecoming 2022 was a movie. about to be like 12.45 and I'm leaving back out again while I'm out I'm about to return this edge control that I got a couple of days ago maybe a week ago actually I think I put this in last month's vlog if I'm not mistaken but let me show y'all this edge control right here yeah no my forehead was greasy it did not work at all don't recommend so yeah, I'm about to run back out the house. Hair is falling out a little bit because it is um, humid outside. Y'all seen me wore this <laughs> a couple days ago. I just threw it back on because I was driving back in town. Um, yeah, it's whatever. All right, y'all, we'll catch up later and talk about this weekend later on right now. Y'all know me, I gotta go. All right, y'all, I'm back in the house um let me finish texting anastasia because i'm meeting her at five all right so i text her back um i need to eat something so i'm probably gonna make like a or something really quick um i look you want to make these blueberry muffins up and put it in the oven while I'm getting ready slash filming because I also want to film and get ready with me um since I'm getting ready and I didn't I wasn't able to film and get ready with me Friday before I went out so yeah I'm trying to be very productive today um because tomorrow the work week starts and I'm not gonna have a lot of time to sit down and film so yeah and I'm currently about to post an Instagram story telling y'all, well, telling my Instagram family. Actually, I'll probably put it on my YouTube story too, but it takes a while for me to get views on my YouTube stories. But honestly speaking, I get more views on my YouTube stories than my Instagram story. Yeah, posting that, and I'm gonna put a question box say filming a chit chat get ready with me send me your questions i'm gonna try to hurry up and post this instagram story so by the time i get out of the shower and sit down and do my makeup hopefully y'all um hopefully i have some questions <laughs> or some topics or i don't know i just need some topics to talk about i do have a list already of previous topics that i haven't spoke about yet um, so I might use those. I'm trying to find a good picture. I think I'm just gonna post this one. I'm thinking about it too much. I don't know why I get nervous with things like this, but yeah, whatever. I'm posting it. I posted it. All right, now I'm going to make myself a smoothie. All the berries. Okay, that's enough. What's this? So it has strawberries, blueberries, um, dark sweet cherries, and sour cherries. 
Do I want it creamy or do I want it like tart? Hmm. I think I want tart. Not creamy. Or should I do creamy? I think that's a lot. And some milk, oat milk to be specific. I think that's enough. This is the sugar I use, by the way. Um, child, the name is covered up. Um, it looks like this. <laughs> that's the sugar I use. And while this is going, I'm going to prep these blueberries. It said just add milk. How much milk? Because I don't have. Oh, I have a cup. I should have enough. Ooh. Y'all, just enough. I literally have just enough. Okay, whatever. It won't focus. Onion symbol. I want them big. I don't want them small. Yeah, but In the middle of doing my hair. So I made it. Autumn's with me. Um, I'm waiting for Anastasia now. I think we're going to go downtown and um, shoot down there first. And then, we'll, and then we'll probably go over to um, Embassy Suites and just walk in there. We're both going to be dressed. So hopefully they don't say anything to us. But I know downtown, we're going to be fine. But going into the hotel... That's when I'm just like, mm, I don't know. I feel like my hair is doing something funny. Look at her, she's so cute. You got a new car? Huh? You got a new car? No. I thought you, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I thought your car looked different, but I didn't, okay, never mind. I thought it was a car. I thought you had a car, not like a truck or SUV. Oh. <laughs> mm, I think your car is bigger. For sure, for sure. Oh, this is the other outfit. But y'all already seen this before. Oh, Wow. At that time. Wow. 
Wow. She the one took the position to tie my daughter's head. Okay. Naomi Cam was my daughter's mother too, and Tyler Banks my daughter. Oh. And my daughter's mother. That's amazing. So now you, you just make me so good. Yeah. That's some real talk. I appreciate and it. And Janet Jackson, my daughter by Janet. Mm -hmm. Jackson, she about, you got to be in your late 20s or early 20s? Yeah. Early 20s? Early 20s. Boy, if he come down, I'm going to have Janet Jackson sitting in the car with my little child. Uh -huh. Right here. Mm -hmm. See that camera sitting right here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Me and Janet was in a porch. Uh huh. I'm not left in Panamera with my daughter. Uh huh. Jackal. Mm -hmm. She alive. Yeah. And she's gorgeous. I'm sure. If you remember when they said on that television mm -hmm. that they brought Maxwell and Stacey Dad, uh -huh. I'm the one when they said walking down the beach. They said Maxwell, that ain't who he really is. Yeah. They showed a picture of me and Stacy Dash. That's mm -hmm. my daughter by Stacy too. A Targa, 911 black Targa. Mm -hmm. She's with me, with Bobby Very Christine. Uh -huh. She's your complexion and your height. Yeah. Bobby Christine. Yeah. Bobby Christine. Now okay. think about what I'm telling you. I Bobby got you. And, you. and she built just like your height. Uh -huh. And she older than you. But Bobby Christine, she have ambitions. Look at this. Yeah, just like you. I see it. She I see it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I see it. I see yours. Mm -hmm. That's natural. Yeah. Isn't that natural? It is. Mm -hmm. It's a natural. Yeah. Am I lying? To, is that natural right there? Yeah. My yeah. Is this my hair? Yeah, this is my hair. I know that's that ain't hair is caress. Oh. It's called caress. See that caress. right there? Going around. It's not hair. A dog has hair. Okay. It's curse. Uh-huh. A human as you are DNA. Mm -hmm. It's called DNA. Oh, your trace right here. Cherry cherry black. Oh. That's cherry black, natural. Yeah. Like that, natural. Mm -hmm. Nothing in this. Nothing in this. Okay. Right. That's what I'm telling you, little Trace. You too. All right. Thank you. you. Too. And, and right there too. You be blessed. And, be uh, as a prince, a prince, diamonds. Don't give it away too easy. I would never Care bread. Care bread. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Style. Appreciate you. Have a Thank good you, one. Have a Love you. Love you. I saw you film it. I I wanted to laugh so much. You can't do that. The people out here today were cute. You gotta be nice. Cause that's yeah, I'm like, I, okay, sorry. Well, you I have a good one. I didn't know how to stop it. And oh I said it already. Right. And Monday and Friday, it, it opens at 8 a.m. And then it opens on Saturday, Saturday 8 a.m. And Sunday 9 a.m. Oh, so this is your way of telling me you want to come? Okay, we can work it out. Tuesday and I don't even know if my phone is gonna let me record for real because it's been saying I don't have any storage when I do I pay for storage so um, yeah I am running errands currently um, I'm about to go vote then I need to go to Ulta return this light that I bought um, and then after that I need to go back to my place and pick up my hair so that I can send it to Trish because I'm going to be in Charlotte Saturday, um, well, Friday night, Saturday morning to get my hair done. So I need to go ahead and send her my hair so it's there so she can color it and do, you know, what she needs to do with it before I get there because I don't want her to do everything in that one day. I don't have time for that. So, um, and I don't think she has time for that either. So just to make it easier, I'm going to go ahead and send it to her through mail. I probably should have got it shipped to her, but I didn't. But yeah, that's what's going on right now. Happy Tuesday. It's 102. Um, and hopefully I'll see y'all again today. I'm not really doing much at all. I do need to go grocery shopping, but I don't think I have the time for that. Um, because I do have to be at work in a couple hours. Um, so 
Okay, so it's the next day, November 9th, and this is after I had got off of work. I was just roaming around. It was a beautiful day. I decided to go to Ulta. I don't really remember what I actually bought. I just like to go to Ulta and Sephora to make sure I know what's new in beauty. And please excuse the terrible vlogging skills. I don't know what the heck I was doing this day. I know I had my niece with me, so I was paying attention to her and then also trying to make sure I got what I needed, but I really don't remember what I got. I know I was looking at Beauty Blender. I know I looked at Morphe because Ariel, I think that's the makeup artist, he came out with a collection with Morphe and I really like the color of the brushes. So I was like, ooh, I want them, but they didn't have none in stock. So I was like, oh. Okay, and y'all know I've been trying to build my fragrance collection, so I went over to Lancome and smelled their fragrance, and I don't remember the name of it, but it's a very flat, skinny bottle, and I was like, hmm, I want to smell that, and I'm not sure. I don't think I'm a floral person, a floral girl, but I wasn't mad at it, but I didn't purchase it. Maybe I might purchase it eventually. I don't know. But um, yeah, I didn't buy any fragrances, but I did buy something from Ulta. I just don't remember what. And then I was like, oh, I need to send off this hair because it has to get to Trish by Saturday. But it wasn't going to get there on time. So I decided not to send it off. And then I went to Aldi's to get some groceries. And then after Aldi's, I went home, of course, and I ended off the night talking to my friends, Kiana and Trish. I didn't get them on the vlog because I did a terrible vlog. I d what am I saying? I did a terrible job vlogging. Moving into the next day, November 10th, a Thursday. I just wanted to get out of the house after work. So I was like, let me edit at Starbucks. And that's what I did. And I just stayed there until I was like, tired <laughs> so that's what I'm doing here drinking my tea um and I don't remember the drink that I actually got but yeah that's what I was doing here I was emailing curls queen and then finishing up another video so yeah busy busy girl moving into Friday November the 11th so I went to H&M because I've really been looking for some sweatpants and I'm getting tired of ordering them online and they just wasting my money because they don't fit properly. So I went into H&M looking around for some sweatpants um, because I like to wear sweatpants when I'm like traveling or when I'm walking around during the day. I seen this pink one and I was like, mm, I feel like I'm going to look like a Pepto-Bismol bottle. So I was like, mm, maybe not. <laughs> and then I didn't like the, um, I didn't like how the string wasn't matching the, the sweatsuit like. You see how the gray ones are like, the gray string is like gray. The pink one was white. And I was just like, no, I didn't like that. But I did end up finding some sweatsuit sets. Now this is the first one, definitely way too short. It just didn't fit right. The pants were too short and then the top was like too short as well. It just, <laughs> it was giving baby gap. I like the design of it, but it just didn't fit good. Um, yeah, if the pants were long enough, I would have got this, but I couldn't do it. The pants was just throwing, it was, yeah. Moving on to this one, I was like, okay, yeah, this is cool. This is like everyday sweatsuit. I can put a jacket on with it. Um, I was trying to like bring it in some because I didn't like how big it was on top. But um, yeah, I ended up buying this one because it was just really simple and it fit kind of. The pants were a little short, but hey. I, I'm gonna take what I can get and this is what I got and then I ended up coming across this oversized blazer on the cell rack It's a 2x yes it is big but I like the fact that it's big because I do have a blazer that's already fitted so I was looking for an oversized one I wasn't really looking for an oversized one but it was on my list of items to get in my closet so yeah so I found this one I can wear it as a dress I can wear it as like a cover-up I can wear it um, I can wear it over the shoulder with like something that's a little bit too revealing. It just gives like my boyfriend gave me his blazer so that I can be warm. And I think it's like the cutest thing. <laughs> so yeah, I ended up getting this because it's cute and I love the quality. It's flowy and everything. And then after H&M, I ended up going to Starbucks again to edit my videos. So that was it for this day. Real chill. Didn't really do too much, but yeah. Honestly, going to Starbucks to edit my videos is a vibe. Even though their Wi-Fi is very slow, I could never upload a video at Starbucks. But 
editing and just catching a vibe and just being around people and in a different environment. Um, cool little vibe. So yeah, that's what I ended up doing. And that's how I ended my night. Hey y'all, it is Wednesday. I feel like, I don't like when the background is like overexposed like that. Come on, come on, I'm cause an accident. I just left Sally's um, because I was getting a brown brush for my hair. Oh, update, I haven't got my hair done yet. I had to cancel my appointment. Anyways, so now I think I'm gonna put my tape-ins, not tape-ins, <laughs> so now I think I'm going to put my clip-ins back in from Wings by Her Given Hair. I'll link the video above. I just posted it yesterday. I think, yeah, it was yesterday. And it's doing really good. You guys are loving the natural silk press, you know, look. But anyways, we are at Ulta now. I've been talking for 16 minutes. I don't know if I'm gonna keep all of this in. But um, yeah, we still have to talk about homecoming because <laughs> y'all I'm still embarrassed and this happened like what two weeks ago I'm still embarrassed why was I acting like that and why do people not know how to park this is why I like my car because it's small and since you want to park over the line I'm gonna make it hard for you to get in your car and I dare you to hit my car you know I dare you why does my footage look like this Mm, I don't like that. Hold on. I'll see how this tour. Okay, so I ended up at Walmart um, and I'm looking for sauces because I have to make dinner. Oh, this one is sweet chili. Mm. This one is $1.97. <laughs> Honestly, I like the price of this one. So, I think I want to try this one. Yeah, sweet chili. This one and then this. 13.25 it's still a better deal because it's 197 so i'm gonna try this one and maybe next time i'll try those but like for 398 and 372 you're playing you're bugging yeah i'm gonna try this one and then i got some jerk seasoning for my jerk alfredo i'm not sure if i'm making the jerk turkey this year i've never tried it before or never made it before so we'll see but i'm definitely getting that for um Rasta pasta. Um, and then I'm trying some new macaroni. I don't really eat macaroni like that, but when I went over to Trisha's house, um, she had some macaroni that looked like this, and I really liked it. So I'm gonna try it and see if that's the one. I'm just really doing a quick pickup. I know I need some juice. I actually don't need juice, I just want juice with my dinner, so I'm gonna pick some up. And I think that's gonna be it for tonight because I really need to get back in the house because I have to be up at 5 a.m. in the morning. So I'm really like pushing it right now. Where's the juice at? Cash bags, soft drinks. Soft drinks is soda. I need like cranberry juice. Oh. I definitely need butter. I know I wanted to pick up some fried dumplings. Okay. I really like these for like a quick, easy meal. And now I need juice and then I can get out of here. I love you want something sweet. <laughs> I love you want something sweet. I need a hurry up. All right. Hey y'all. I got some new pots of pans. From Caraway. Let me, because this is kind of heavy. The box is huge. Hold on, let me put y'all down. Here we go. Here we go about what? They talked about Ricky Grinder them vanished in Russia. Vanished. It's just too much going on. From this, from the young lady and Shelly getting killed by her friends in Mexico. From the three uh, football players at UVA getting shot and killed. My eyes look. 
this. I got some new pots and pans. What is that? What is that? <laughs> I got some new pots and pans. I'm trying to show the vlog. <laughs> but I don't know what it is. Well, put it somewhere so you can open it. I want to see. I want to see. You want to see? I don't think they can see it from all the way over there. I think they can I see it. So I got some new pots and pans from Caraway. Um, they contacted me through my email mm -hmm. and they were like, do you want to be a part of the ambassador program? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've already been seeing like reviews about these pots and pans and they're like healthier than the normal pots that we usually buy because they're non-stick and supposedly Is it like cast iron? I'm not sure yet <laughs> oh. and supposedly like the non-stick pans that we usually buy from like you know the grocery store there's something that is made out of that's kind of like toxic yeah I heard about so that. I've been seeing reviews about these and I've been wanting to try them out but I just never bought them and then when they emailed me, I was like, wait, I know y'all. <laughs> I was like, ooh, yes, I'm gonna try them out. So they sent it to me and I was like, wow, they actually sent it to me. I wasn't expecting the box to be this big, but I think it comes with like a lid that you can use to store the pots. Um, so I guess that's why it's this big. I, I honestly don't know why it's this big. I don't know how to open this. I'm really not trying to. Is it not? I don't know how to open this. Okay. I'm trying to like, cause it's this little tape piece that's stopping it from like opening. Can you see, best friend? Yeah. Oh, okay. I really hope. Get, get a knife. Why are you trying to open with your fingers? I got a knife. Oh, not a butter knife. It's not a butter knife. Best Ooh, you know, um, body my knees. She has her knives on sale. Have you seen her new knife slats? She made some knives and they're really pretty. They're on sale for $50. They're usually at $180, but it's Black Friday. I think her Black Friday sale is for like $50. I'm gonna send it to you. They look real nice and modern. I was like, ooh, I might need them. But why put a rose gold knife stand on my Christmas list? You said what? I said, but why put a rose gold knife stand on my Christmas list? <laughs> you did, for real? I did. No, but I seriously need new knives. Like, I've had them knives since I had my first apartment. Baby, they're dull, and I'm sick of them. Yeah, I've had these knives for two years, and I thought the quality was going to be a little bit better, but I... These knives are, like, falling apart, and they're not sharp unless I sharpen them. Right. Ooh, look at, look at that little load. Oh, gosh. <laughs> it says, good looking, clean cooking. That's cute. Period. <laughs> I'm still trying to open this. And then I don't want to like mess up the box because I want to take like a Instagram picture or video of it. So I'm trying to open it up neatly. But it's a little difficult. They made sure. <laughs> this thing is secure. How am I supposed to? Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. You're one step closer to cleaner cooking. <laughs> it's like Christmas. Not Christmas. <laughs> this must be the lid. But um oh my goodness. Yeah, to the to the pans. Hold on. Where's my knife though? Mm, we love this is how you know we're Love you, set up and knives, and oh, let me push y'all back a little bit. Can y'all see? I don't think I can see. Can you see this one? <gasps> I need to put my phone on the charger. Ooh. I was supposed to do that. You always do it. Wait, wait. It looks like it's about to go dead because it's stuttering. <laughs> wait. Wait, wait. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, yeah, it's charging now. Ooh, I should have probably did this unboxing tomorrow when there's daylight out. But 
this box has been sitting in that corner since the weekend and I really want to cook with them okay these are the lids okay so lid holder hooks oh oh I can put these in my cabinet Ooh, these are the lid holders that I can put on the inside of my cabinets they're heavy where you get the from again? Caraway. Yeah, Caraway. C A R A W A Y. Ooh. It's white. They're cream. I wanted the inside to be white, like my regular, like my pots. But I'll be okay. The gray, the gray kind of matches the kitchen. Ooh. They look so nice. And this is the little lid holder that I can probably put inside of my cabinets so that it just holds it nicely. I think my cabinets are too small. Are they? Oh. The, top one? the top one. My pans are down here. Oh no, it's too small. Or maybe I can put it in on the inside of the cabinet and hook it there. But, uh, okay. I'm not doing that right now. I'll just sit them right here. Okay, this box is so big. <laughs> this box is so big. So rude. This is what healthy cookware looks like. Okay. Ooh, they look cocky. I like it. Come on. Okay. Sheesh. Oh, this looks so nice. I'm gonna take one out because I want to take a picture of it. These pots are freaking heavy. Good, in case you need to box somebody. I don't know what this is. What's that? What's that? I don't know. More goodies inside. Okay. What you can you can put your pots on it. Oh, this is so cute. That's so nice. And then the I'm about to be cooking. <laughs> Look at them. Best friend to be cooking. Listen. I'm a chef. Period. Call me Chef Shani. Okay. <laughs> Pasta You've been talking about this rasta pasta for two years. And I just. <laughs> I oh, wait, I'm about to. Wow, this looks really nice. Yeah, you can box somebody. Exactly. What's this? What's this? <laughs> what you saying? See, this is what mine look like, but it's not nearly as heavy as this. Tell me why your little sister asked for some Jimmy Choo perfume. Jimmy Choo? What she know about Jimmy Choo? I don't know. I just know Jimmy Choo <laughs> last Friday, and I was like, oh, I'm going to get this for myself. And she said, first thing on the Christmas list, Jimmy Choo perfume. Pause, because Ooh. I've been wanting some Jimmy Choo shoes, and they, they are pretty penny. How she know about Jimmy Choo perfume at her age? And what it smell like? Is it age appropriate? Yeah. Oh. Um. Not age appropriate. I'm, I'm, I'm already not age appropriate. Because she don't need to be around here trying to smell like a grown, a grown girl, okay? Is it, is it age appropriate? Yes, um. is it age appropriate? Because if it ain't, you're not getting it. Exactly. Send it to me. I'm going to go and smell it. It smells good. I like these. I mean, dinner is already cooked, so I'm not going to use these today. But I just wanted to unbox it for y'all. Because it's literally been... Did I say that right? It's literally been sitting over there in the corner for like a good three, four days. So... Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I also have some PR to unbox. But I'll probably do that tomorrow. I got some stuff from... Yeah, Pixie. 
what's over there? Pixie, uh, I think Bare Minerals. What else is over there? PR is from Pixie, um, Laura Mercier, and I think Bare Infinity or something like that. I'll unbox that tomorrow. I just wanted to show y'all the pot today because I really need to get these boxes out of my out of my house. Um, but I want to make sure I'm not going to make a reel with it. I probably will make a reel like unboxing it and then cooking so I can put it on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Or maybe take a picture and put it on my story. I might do both. But I got some shoes from Macy's. And these are the shoes that I originally wanted when I, you know, when I ordered all of them shoes. Um... I know they remember because I was vlogging it and I was like, ooh, yeah, I got some new shoes. Um, but I got these because they came back into stock and I've been wanting these shoes for like maybe over a year because I've seen these and they sold out and I couldn't get my hands on them. But they had the white available, they had the hot pink available, there was a holographic one available and a nude pair available and I just got all four in the place of these two because these are the two that I really wanted but since I didn't since I couldn't get those I was just like overcompensating for the fact that I didn't get what I wanted right. you know but these came back available these came back available and um I got them they were on sale though they were on sale <laughs> That's the gonna be telling her. but it was on sale they were on sale though they were on sale. Like, yeah, they're, on sale. No, they're so cute. Yeah. You better wear them. Can I, can I tell you something? Excuse me. Um, yes. Why do you have five pairs of the same style of shoes? In the same color. I could see if it was in different colors. No, they're in different colors. No, they're not. Yes, they are. So question. So yes. the other black ones that you have like that, would it would it would it be wear them? How long have they been sitting in your closet? But you but you know but you know the other ones that I have that look like this, I got them from Shoe Dazzle and I really like those shoes. But they're like very high. So I don't wear them as often. So I was like, let me get a more conservative heel that I can always wear, you know? That's a because this is a four inch. The other ones that I have is like a five inch and a half and it'd be hurting my feet. And I can't really walk in them, so I was like, let me get a lower, a shorter heel. That's more practical. So, that's why I got these. part-time job just ask me if I can come in in the morning oh but I did go to Sally's so I went to Sally's y'all I think y'all seen that I went to Sally's and then after I went to that first Sally's 
I went to Ulta because I still needed to find the brush that I was looking for. So I got this one from the first Sally's. And I think I'm gonna return it because after I went to after I went to Sally's, I went to Ulta. Ulta didn't have what I needed, so then I went to the other Sally's and I found this brush. And I think this brush is gonna do what I need it to do. So I got that and then I also picked this up. Because this is what Trish used in my hair and my hair wasn't reverting. So needed that. And that's all I picked up today from my errands. And we'll see how it works. I need to go ahead and eat because I haven't really ate much today. I had a bunch of pineapples and coffee. And that's it. You need to start brewing. I be trying not, I didn't have time to like make, you know, my breakfast that I really wanted to eat. So I just had a whole bunch of pineapples. <laughs> Did you have to work today? I didn't. But I had like an appointment that I had to hurry up and get to and I low key was taking my time. So I didn't have time to make like an actual breakfast, you know? At least it was healthy. At least I didn't go to McDonald's and get like a sausage, egg and cheese with griddle. <laughs> That's what I really wanted to do. But I just had a bunch of pineapples. Pineapples and they're not eating all day. It ain't healthy either. Stop yelling at me. <laughs> I'm not even yelling. I'm not even yelling. Oh, I got those at the perfect time because my mom, I think she texted me last week and she was like, we should cook together for Thanksgiving. And like, those pots would be so cute, you know? So yeah, y'all, if y'all are interested in the pots, I will put the link down below. It is a affiliate link. So if you purchase through them, I get paid a little bit of money. So if you don't want me to get paid, just don't click it, search it yourself. But yeah, it's a affiliate link. And if I have a coupon code, I'll put that on the screen as well as the description box. I love you wanna put this outside for the Valley Trash, but I know if I do that, there's gonna be a note on my door <laughs> telling me that I should have took it to the dumpster myself. So you know what? I'm not even gonna try it. There's nothing Hi you guys, so I'm not sure when's the last time I've been on the vlog, but um, I just finished blowing out these clip-in hair extensions that I got from Curls Queen. Uh, not clip-ins, they're definitely, um, definitely, definitely, I don't know how to talk. They're wefted microlinks, okay? And I'm getting them installed tomorrow by Trish. <laughs> yeah. Getting them installed, um, I just wanted to update you guys because this video is going to be a separate, not this video, but the video that I'm doing with the hair is going to be a separate dedicated video for the company, so for Curls Queen. Um, so I might try to put a montage into the vlog because I don't want to totally skip today and tomorrow in the vlog. So yeah, I'm gonna try to figure that out when it comes to um, editing. I'll probably just put some clips from the dedicated video into the vlog. So yeah, today has been a busy day. Honestly, the month of November, oh, what? I cannot talk, I need to go to sleep, wow. Um, <laughs> honestly, the month of November has been a little busy for me. I just wanted to update the vlog because I don't wanna go a whole bunch of days without saying anything to the vlog and then I'm like editing the vlog and I'm just like what happened between the days of November 17th through the 20th 
you know what I'm saying? So I was like, let me get on a vlog real quick and let them know what's going on. <laughs> I really don't know where I last vlog. Pretty sure it was this week, I think. Um, so yeah, I'm finally getting my microlinks, wefted microlinks installed tomorrow. And I'm so excited. I just blew them out because Trish was like, go ahead and blow them out and go ahead and blow your hair out, wash it. That's actually what I'm about to do. I honestly need to stop talking to y'all and get in the shower because I definitely have to be up at 5 a.m. tomorrow to be in Charlotte to get my hair done at 10 a.m. Because that's the only way she could squeeze me in. So yeah, I definitely appreciate her for doing that for me. And plus, I'm just excited to see my friend, you know? And Charlotte is always like a good time, you know? <laughs> so yeah. Definitely excited to see my friend tomorrow. Just definitely excited to just get out of the city. Y'all know me. I'm always up and at it. Anytime I have any time off, I'm out of the city. Okay? Even if I have a day off, I'm trying to be out of the city. <laughs> but yeah, that's all I wanted to say. I miss y'all. Um, yeah. I just yeah this month has been quite a month you know um but we're making it we're making it through Trish has to do is straighten my hair well install the hair and straighten so yeah on the way to Charlotte still have morning voice excuse me um and I'm also trying to film a hair vlog as well but I didn't want to exclude this from my monthly vlog y'all get me y'all get me okay so let me go ahead and load everything into the car. Um, I was going to show y'all what I have on, but honestly, I don't really have anything on for real. I'm going to just show y'all. So this is what I have on. Sweatpants from H&M, shoes from Ego Official, socks from Pretty Little Thing. Um, did I say sweatpants are from H&M? Yeah. And top. So yeah, that's basically what I have on. And then I'm wearing my burgundy bag that Trish got me. So yeah, let me go ahead and lug everything into the car and I will catch up with y'all. Listen, don't say nothing about my hair. I'm about to get it done, okay? It does look crazy though, hold on. I'm in Ross because I left my shoes at home. I don't know how I did that. Well, I know how I did it because of where I leave my shoes is easy for me to forget. Okay, should I show y'all these shoes? I feel like it's given what are those, but they're kind of cute though. I mean, this guess, guess it's still inside. Like it's these. giving mom, but not horrible. It's giving mom, but cool mom. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and get these. Oh, look, these are so cute. You didn't make any leeway on your apartment yet? Yeah, Me neither. No, you're not. Don't say that. What specifically are you looking for, sweetie? I don't know. The little Buddha might be cute, though. Like, I ain't never seen one just laying there, like, come and get in the baby. <laughs> 
kind of like the way this looks. And that is It's giving whimsical. It's cute though. I'm not gonna buy it because I don't need it. And then we stopped at this big beauty supply store because Trish needed to pick up some things. I didn't really need anything, but I was just in awe that everything that I needed was in one store. And in my city, I had to go to three stores. That's actually absurd. But I'm doing this voiceover because they was playing some music in there. It was gospel and everything. Keep the shackles off my face so I can... Yeah, I didn't want to get copyrighted, but the music in there was like really, really nice. I was really feeling it. And this is some of the stuff that we picked up. I really don't remember exactly what this stuff is. I know it's something for my hair to like lift the black off of the hair to give me highlights and then i came across these roll-on oil fragrances that i used to wear in middle and high school and i'm just like why was i wearing lick me all over my young self didn't have no business wearing this <laughs> and then i came across the foundation like one of the first foundations i ever wore and they still had it that's crazy really really crazy um they had a bunch of nyx products in there i was just amazed like all of this <sighs> Yeah, that's it's crazy how everything was in this one store. And back in my city, I literally have to go to five different stores. But you know what? It's okay. Moment of silence for the gas that I be burning. Anyways, I don't remember the location that we were at, but I will find out and put it down below if you guys are in the Charlotte area and just want to know where this place is. After this, we went to go get some Starbucks and then headed to the shop to do my hair. If you guys are interested in all the information about this install and how it was done, I will link the dedicated video in the cards because this is just going to be like a montage. And if you guys have any questions on the install process, the length of hair that I got, any of the specs to do with the hair, any of that, it will be in that video. So I will have it listed in my cards and also in my description box. I can't really answer any questions about the color of the hair because Trish did that all by herself i don't know how she did that um so yeah any other questions you guys have i might be able to ask so, i mean not ask i might be able to answer so leave it in the comment section and i'll get back to y'all okay okay let's get into this hair all you wanna do is gas me how we end up in the back seat just trying to get to the bag we on the same page, you the same way Only keep the fam around me So let me know what it's gonna be I don't plan on getting no sleep Why are we doing our thing? Moving too fast Candy paint with the windows all black seats Crème brulee, that's what they gon' say With the top down, screaming money, anything We up till six in the morning When the sunrise will be on it Boy, I got five, you all so live Tell me when to go, baby, when we gon' slide Baby, when we gon' slide, yeah Up all night, baby, when we gon' slide Oh, hey, hey, baby, when we gon' slide Well, she ain't tried me today, Fiona. What happened? Don't you say nothing. So she had tried me and she didn't hurt my feelings, Fiona. Because even though she did not come on time for her original appointment, she had very strict instructions on what size curl line she had. And she questioned me when she asked me if I even had it as though I didn't have it last time. But it's okay. I had let her live with that one, right? So today, I was moving stuff around and stuff. And she's like, you got the right curl line for me? And I showed her it, right? She was talking about some, ah, that's not the right size. I had looked at her and I had wanted to throw it, but then I was remembering that I'm an adult and I can't do stuff like that. <laughs> First of all, it ah, looks... No, 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 you don't <laughs> Don't say nothing. <laughs> it's you go, ah, 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 don't say stop. <laughs> no, no, I'm telling my story. You can, you can, no, you can tell your story later. You ain't think about something in the store. So, right? And then I had looked at her. I had looked at her. I had looked at her. I had looked at her like this. Look. Your booty getting big. I had looked at her like this. Right? Because that's how you gotta look at people when you're special. And then she had looked at it again. She was like, oh, it is. Yeah, ho. Stop playing with me. Don't play with me. I did not mean to under, undermine you your did. professionalism. You, did. you questioned me. 
I apologize. It looked small. I like that. Yeah. Trish, you really did not have to snap like this, though. Do you think I'm a good You're not here. Thank God, um, because I am exhausted, um, and I have to be up in three, four, two hours for work. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and I'm trying to find my tripod. Okay, I'm whining. Let me go find my tripod. I was about to trip. Let me go find my tripod and finish off this um, video before I take my makeup off and jump in the bed because I really have to go to sleep. I'm literally going to take a nap and have to be back up, but you know what? It is what it is. My hair came out cute though. Go watch the video. Okay, so I really don't remember when's the last time I talked to you guys. Um, it probably was last night because technically it's Tuesday. Um, but after I got off of work, I came home, put this on, ate my dinner that I got from Cheddar's and went to sleep. And I woke up around like 7 p.m. <laughs> you know how you look up, you know how you wake up from a nap or you wake up from going to sleep? And you look at your phone and you're like, is it the same day? That, that's what happened. <laughs> I was like, oh well. I really needed that sleep. It's actually insane how tired I was. But I brought it on myself because I don't know why I just be hip hopping in and out of town. Now about Cheddar's. Because I think I was vlogging at Cheddar's. But I don't. y'all didn't hear any, well... There was so much stuff that was transpiring, but it wasn't verbal. So we were looking for food, of course, because we both got finished working. Um, Trish was physically doing work. She was doing my hair. <clears throat> Whoa. <clears throat> Where's my water? All right, so by the time Trish got done with my hair, um, we were both exhausted and hungry. We just wanted food. We were gonna do fast food, but then I don't really be eating fast food. Like that so when she was like naming stuff i was like i've never been there <laughs> so she was like what do you have to taste for and i was just like i don't know <laughs> and i'm now understanding that i was being difficult in that moment but like we were both like tired and exhausted and i really couldn't think and i was just like i don't know what i want to eat I just know I don't want a fast food. We were about to go to Stats. Actually, we were at Stats. We were at Stats and um, I ordered like a salmon, mashed potato salmon and like broccoli. Broccoli. And they told us it was gonna be a 45 minute wait. We were not doing that. I, it literally just blew me. I was just like, I'm not even hungry anymore. No an hour wait? No. So then we were on the phone um, and then I was like, oh, how about Cheddar's? Cause I just typed in or not even typed in. I was on my GPS because y'all know I'm not from Charlotte. So I don't really know my way around. So I was just in my GPS and I was like, okay, let me just click on restaurants and see what comes up. Um, and Cheddar's was on the list of restaurants that popped up. So I clicked on Cheddar's. They told us that they closed at 10, they were still open. Um, and I think we were about maybe five minutes away. So yeah, I called them. They told us that, yeah, you have five minutes to get here. And we were 
by the time I called them, we were like one minute away from Cheddar's. We got there, the doors was locked, but there was a gentleman outside, um, you know, having a smoke break. And um, he was like, oh yeah, I'll let y'all in because he they had to open the door for him because he was already eating in there and his girlfriend or his wife was in there. So they opened the door um, and they let us in. So when we got in there, nobody greeted us for one. Nobody greeted us. The red flag was the door being locked um, after they told us one minute ago that, yeah, we'll, we'll still seat you. Um, that was the first red flag. Um, and I was low-key already irritated because the stats told us that we had a hour wait for some salmon and mashed potatoes. Um, and that's the only thing that I could think of eating that I know I would want to eat. So, um, yeah, and I still had to get back on the road to be back in town to be at work this morning. So, um, yeah, they let us in. We walk in and nope. When I, when I say nobody said anything to us, nobody said anything to us at all. Okay. There was two girls. Um, one girl, she was sitting down, um, I think cleaning forks or something like that and then there was another girl that came walking by the girl that was sitting down wiping the fork both of them didn't say anything to us at all they were they seen us they made eye contact they didn't say anything to us at all I think we were sitting there for about maybe three minutes after we we're just standing there waiting for somebody to come up to us and greet us um, not even greet us, just come up to us and take our order because we're, we were going to leave. We already knew what we wanted to eat and we weren't trying to make it difficult. We know that y'all are about to close so we just was going to come in, just get food and leave. And then y'all told us that we could, that y'all would seat us and still take our order. So the fact that we walked in there and nobody greeted us and, the, well actually no, I don't want to say nobody greeted us. The fact that we walked in there and the two people at the front door didn't even acknowledge that we were literally looking at them or they were looking at us trish was <laughs> on the phone already after like one minute of standing there she was on the phone with um one of the district managers because she i think she personally knows the district manager over that um area which honestly it makes it worse for them because because how dare y'all not greet people that are coming into your establishment and you work here um, you don't know who we know, not that that matters, but you should still treat people how you want to be treated. So after sitting there, Trish is on the phone <laughs> and then um, we walk over to the bar area because we just was like, okay, these two girls are not going to say anything to us. So we walk over to the bar area. Instantly, the people over there greeted us and asked us, you know, how's everything going? And have y'all been seated or are is your order being taken and, they were, and we were just like no um so the girl at the bar her name was Michaela, and i will definitely be back to see her because she was cool and she gave us a free drink like yeah Michaela, you were real one for that and then the manager of the store um i think she's the general chef manager if i'm not mistaken she came out and asked us you know what do we want to eat so um she took our order i told her i'll get an eight ounce salmon and broccoli because there was no rice so she took our order we got our order um and she ended up making us like a plate of food for real for real because they didn't have ice not ice they didn't have rice and there was rice in my plate so i know she made a fresh bowl of rice because the rice she they didn't have any rice already cooked and i didn't eat my food while i was there because i was already like over it and i was livid like <laughs> trish was like i was about to fight the girl but i was not okay i'm skipping stuff so we were talking to michaela and some of the other co-workers in the bar area and the plus size girl with the long hair um she had walked past as I'm explaining what transpired over there because she was like, why weren't y'all being helped? And we were like, I don't know. We were both sitting there and they were both sitting there. They didn't say nothing to us. So as I'm explaining what just happened over there as to why we weren't greeted or why our orders 
weren't taken the girl walks past and she's like i told them five minutes excuse me don't be disrespectful first of all no you were already disrespectful because we walked in here you work here we're customers so you should have said something to us don't come by and try to show face and try to act like you did something that you didn't and then you made yourself look worse by trying to butt into a conversation when we weren't even talking to you. Why in the world would you come over here or why would you even walk past and be like, oh, I told them five minutes, baby girl. No, you did not say anything at all. So since you wanna be smart, since you wanna be big and bad, since you wanna get buck, I can stand up, I can come over there and have a conversation with you. I'm not trying to fight you at all. I'm just trying to let you understand that you work at a restaurant and customer service is key. Cause Trish thought I was about to fight her and I'm just like, no, I'm not about to fight her. I'm talking to her, I'm having a conversation. I'm not about to be fighting in these people establishment. That is, that's not my style at all. I don't have to get loud with you. I don't have to do any of that. Like I'm not raising my voice, none of that. You work at a restaurant, you have to serve customers. So why are you upset? Is this how you conduct yourself with every customer that walks through this door? If so, that's even more alarming. You should not be here. So yeah, definitely write an email. Definitely got your name. So yeah, that's what transpired at that Cheddar's. And I'm just like, yeah, that, <laughs> y'all, <laughs> it was just unnecessary. I was talking to the general manager, the chef, the, I don't know what to call her. She's the chef general manager, I think. I was talking to her and I was just explaining, like not even, I wasn't even loud. I was talking regular, I'm calm. I'm pretty calm. It usually takes a lot for me to, you know, get loud. Um, but I was just talking to her and I was just like, nobody should ever be treated like that. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, you work at a restaurant. There are people coming through the door all the time. You should not be that nasty and rude to customers at the end of the day. That was my eventful 20 hours, actually no, 15 hours in Charlotte. <laughs> Oh goodness. But them croissants though, they're so good. It's actually insane. Like, are you serious? Wow. Chatters is one of my favorite restaurants, by the way. And it's not like I get anything special. I just get the same thing. Salmon, mashed potatoes or rice um, and broccoli. Sometimes I do steamed carrots um, with them croissants. They hit every time. All right, so it's the next day. Happy Tuesday. It's November 22nd, 2022. And today I wanted to be Miss Bob the Builder. I wanted to hang up this mirror that I've had since I moved into this apartment. Um, no, not really, but y'all get me. So... I asked my brother, I was like, what screws am I supposed to use to hang this heavy mirror? And he was like, um, you're going to need like heavy duty screws. So, <laughs> so I Googled, um, heavy duty screws <laughs> to hang a mirror and, um, double headed picture hangers popped up. Um, so I just looked for those and I think I went to Target and I think I went to Walmart and I bought them from Walmart if I'm not mistaken but it wasn't too too hard it was probably took me maybe 30 minutes I was really breaking a sweat trying to screw that screw into the wall I was using a handheld um, screwdriver so I had to like hammer the nail into the wall a little bit and then screw the rest of the screw into the wall with my handheld screwdriver my brother was like I need a drill but I didn't have a drill so I just used what I had so yeah <laughs> And then I thought I was done, but the screw wasn't all the way like screwed in. So I had to take the mirror back down and screw it in some more. So yeah, this was like a little bit of a workout. I was actually sweating. And then while I was at Walmart, I also did some last minute Thanksgiving shopping. And I was also looking for a suitcase because I wanted to exchange, not exchange, but I want to change out my freelance MUA suitcase because it start, it's on its way out. I feel like I maybe have six months to a year left with it because the wheels on it are just not 
rolling the same. <laughs> and I can tell the difference between my personal suitcase and my MUA freelance suitcase. The wheels are just not smooth at all. I'm kind of like dragging the suitcase, so I know. I know that I need to go ahead and purchase another suitcase before the wheels actually come off of it because I think the suitcase has one good fall left in it <laughs> and it's over for it but yeah that's pretty much what I did that day yeah I didn't really do a good job vlogging while I was out so yeah I had to tell y'all what I did getting into the last week or couple days of November I was looking for artwork. I still haven't found any artwork that I like to go to my apartment and I'm in no rush to put any artwork in there, especially if I don't like it. So I've seen these and I was just like, mm, it's not really doing what I wanted it to do. So I left it there. Um, and I really didn't get much vlog footage from the last week of November because I was at work. It was Thanksgiving and I pretty much worked every single day. When I say every single day, every single day. Okay, um, and this is me trying to clean up and throw some boxes out and move things around because I wanted to redo one of my thumbnails because it just, yeah, I just wanted to redo my thumbnail. So here I am taking a thumbnail. I'm not actually going anywhere. I, I'm just redoing a thumbnail. That is it. That is all. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you made it all the way to the end of this vlog, I love you so much. Thank you. Because <laughs> I know this vlog was a lot. An hour and 30 minutes? Wow. I think, I think this is the longest vlog I've posted this far. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I will be posting a video on the screen, so if you haven't already seen this, definitely check it out. And if you haven't already subscribed, my face will pop up on the screen, so all you have to do is click it, and you are subscribed. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it.